Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash and this is Town of Night, a game made in SGB. This is probably one of the older SGB games, but it has a significant amount of really nifty content, kind of packaged all together in a small seeming world. I've already gotten through the bulk of this first dungeon, I hope. And the difficulty balance is very well scaled. I don't need those. Because we're not getting into any music or anything that is new. Having said that, the music that's here is well placed. I think I think it fits the environment just fine. And the reason I was thinking I'm mostly, hopefully mostly, all the way through this dungeon is because I was able to get through most of the second room, and when I went back to the first room, I was already quite overpowered, as you can kind of see. Get that mouse off the screen, you noob. You recording noob. I've got enough health to last- oh god, he's poisoned. I can't be- I can't be risking that. I can't be letting him get poisoned, though. That will kill ya. That's not good. Let's take care of that right now. Actually, can you cure poison? You can. Mm. So we'll just do that. Now everybody is level 5. So I'm thinking that... Probably gonna happen... Oh no, I got through the, the next room too. A little bit through the next room probably gonna happen is level 7? If I had to guess? I have no idea how many rooms this first dungeon is. I just know where my limits are, and my limits are almost always if I'm about to die, leave the dungeon. I don't have any magic rope items or anything like that that'll allow me to leave instantly, so... However, I'm also trying to conserve my MP because it's looking like my main attacks are doing just fine. Doing crowd control. Ugh. Ah, good. And then I'll have plenty of MP for things like healing and removing debuffs and dots like poison. I always play as conservatively as possible. That's why I leave and come back and. Oh, look at that. I haven't made it this far yet. There's going to be an assassin in that stupid treasure chest. So, does anybody need healed? Yeah. Let's see. Was she the healer? Nope, she's the healer still. Area heal. Mm, do I have an MP restoring item? Mm, not really. But I have this, so I can use this. That fully restore. Oh, nice. I don't want to use that. I do want to use this now. She's about dead, and he could use help, and that's good. That's good. That's all we need to do. So, I'm going to grab this pot. Yes, good. I'm glad that they stuffed stuff, stuffed stuff inside of the pots as well as the treasure chest. And now this fool thinks he's going to come along, and ooh, instant death to an opponent? I can't do that. I don't do the instant death stuff. I really don't. Uh, she's got plenty of MP. We'll go ahead and use that. I've got Quake now. I have got Quake now. Really though, I'm just hoping that there's more content past this first dungeon. I'm hoping that beating the first dungeon will allow me to leave the town. I'm not sure how long this particular game is, or how much time the developer wants it to take to finish. But I do know that it's just fun enough. Oh, I got Iron Knuckles. For me to like playing it. Oh, who wears this? Who wear? Oh, is it Oko Oko? It's not Oko Oko. This is, it's not me. Now, if it wasn't apparent, uh, these four party members, if you've missed the last episode, they're not the only four you can get, I don't think. I actually don't have proof of that, but I, it's a theory, it's just a gut feeling, and the reason that I think that that's probably true is because they can leave your party at any time, and they retain their level and their 
armor and skills and everything when they come back. So I'm thinking that the dev has put lots of party members in here and you just go collect whoever you want. That's what I'm thinking. Mm, got lots of demon ants. I don't like it. I don't like that. This is all single enemy stuff. Is that? That's also single enemy. I don't like that. I don't have any multi enemy stuff at all. What the heck does the resistance do? There's no description. It's fine. We're just gonna tank and spank. We're just gonna tank and spank. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, everybody's defense is down. Okay, I thought they were all poisoned. Playing a game like this, it's really simple and it's very grindy. And so I'm always like, is this going to do well? I don't know if people want to watch this, but it's still something that I like doing. And I feel like if I like doing it, it deserves a spot on the channel. It gets its own video. It gets, the video gets its own day. And I've got no qualms or objections or regrets in structuring my channel that way. So that was the whole point of it to begin with. I wish there were treasures hidden on the skeletons. Alright, we are, like, really close to being dead and stuff. So, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna heal. Using her. Oh, you know, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see here. Got popped. Got a potion. And next area, please. Ooh, a save spot? Is that what that is? Did I actually make it to a save spot? Is it an all heal? As well, I doubt it. I kind of doubt it's like a healing place, but I could be wrong. Honestly, if it was like a place you could go to heal your party as well, well, you know what? Either whether it is or not, this dungeon I think is a suitable length for me to to be reminded of like old school RPG dungeon lengths. They just seemed to go on forever and ever and ever. Did you ever play Final Fantasy V? Oh my god. I don't mean that, you know, it's necessarily bad. FF5 is probably my favorite one out of all of them. Due to the being able to switch up skills between classes and, and learn new jobs and stuff. But, the dungeons were tough, and the boss fights were tough, and they were supposed to be tough. They were designed to be tough. We have a boss now. I wonder if I have an encounter rate in this room. Is this going to be every single one? Every single box I open. Screw it, let's poison him. I'm really glad the uh, poison has an initial damage when you cast it. I think that it's very helpful. It's very useful. That helps, but barely. You can't equip that. You can, no, but it's weaker on you. It's so crazy. So crazy. Alright, I still don't know if I get into random battles here or not. I do. I do. I do. Ants and slimes for all. The ants and slimes have made this their home. And it would be downright unfair of me to claim it from them. That's okay. Medicinal herb. I could probably use it, but I'm not going to worry about it. Is there anything back there? I don't see anything. Just in case the scene plays, we're going to heal up. And we're going to use medicinal herbs for that pure piss. Okay, he's not in any hurry to kill us. Let's check out that bookshelf. I'm seeing some pretty cool battle systems being made. I'm seeing some pretty cool battle systems. 
people are making battle systems for SGB, I don't know how easy they will be to incorporate between projects. I don't know if the people who have made the battle systems intend for their project to be a starting template, or if it's going to be able to port at all into anybody's game. I mean, surely you can do that. I mean, I know that you can. There's nothing on the bookshelf of interest. There's a ladder, though. That's interesting. And there's a throne. There's a chest right behind the throne. And of course, there's an assassin in the chest right behind the throne. Oh, man. I got a revival feather. And I got a sage rod. Okay, that, I feel like somebody needs to be able to equip it, right? Yeah. She has got something now. Did I ever get a shield? I got a buckler. Nobody can use that. Nobody's using a buckler. He can use a buckler, but it'll bring his stuff down. Okay, never mind. Okay, we have gotten some cool stuff. Can I fight him without running into an enemy? Yes, I can. Oh, someone finally came to entertain me. Please don't die easy on me. I'll try not to. You know, you look a lot like, you look really familiar. You look super familiar. I don't use Blink Body. I don't use Blink Body at all. Poison! Oh, poison. Skill, oh god, you gotta cure your own poison. I completely forgot about that. I am careless. I am careless. Ooh. At least I'm faster than he is. I can heal him. Let's see, wait a minute, you've got this thing now. Should I have given the elemental rod to Ogoko? Because she actually has element stuff. Mmm, I'll probably do that. I'm interested to see what more dungeons in this game are going to look like, because the first dungeon always sets kind of like a precedent, like a, a series of expectations for what the rest of the dungeons in the game are going to look like. Maybe that's just me. Oh wow, he keeps missing too. Oh wow, we just all miss. We just all suck. We all suck. Are you not poisoned anymore? I don't think he is. Ooh, he used Assassin's Blade and he hit. He hit. That hit. That's not cool. Elixir of Life. Nope, that's not right. It is Revival Feather. That's what I need to use. And... Man, you suck. I keep looking at Sashi's skill set like I'm gonna actually use, oh god, like I'm actually going to use what she's got, but I don't use them, let's use Quake, Quake is an enormous attack, maybe, please let Quake be very, very damaging, please let Quake be like an end all of the, oh that sucked, that was terrible, I still killed him, but it sucked. Awesome! They leveled up. Charlotte did not level up. You received a mansion key. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. And as simple as that was, and as straightforward as that was, I have to leave the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. And until then, bye bye Sorry, I'm in a rush. I'm in a rush. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye-bye.